Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is 3D Mesh Tutorials and I'm in Copper Cube 6.5.1. So in the previous video I showed you how to add multiple animations in Blender. And in Copper Cube I'm going to import that uh, character okay and I'm gonna show you how that character function in Copper Cube. So I'm just gonna put the layout, a skin mesh, uh, about 300 by 300 for my character to stand on okay. So if you guys haven't followed this video you need to watch the first part. You can go to my YouTube channel and you can check out that video and you can come back and follow up on this one, okay? So, uh, let me just lift up the cube. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to import this character perfectly, guys. I'm gonna go to File, Import, and I'm gonna go to Animator 3D Mesh, okay? Go to the directory where you, where you save all your, your animations, but I want the one multiple animation file, as you can see, the Power Cow. Okay, there's the animation character guys, there's the character full, fully animated in a rig. Okay, as you can see there, all we need to do is, we need to import the character skin. Because at the moment there's no skin on the character, so you won't be able to see the character's figure. Okay, so let me just add the skin, so we can have a nicer look at the character. Okay, we're gonna, re we're gonna re rename the character later on. So we're gonna go to the hierarchy, the properties at the bottom. We're gonna go to materials, you're gonna see there's no mess. There's the material. Okay, so I'm adding the material to the hierarchy and you just press that small uh, icon there next to the material slot. Okay, there you can see there's the material. You can even put it on dynamic if you want to. But then you need to add a light so you can see the character skin. But at this moment, that is how you import a multiple uh, 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 animated character to copper cube this is copper cube 6.5.1 this is not the pro version guys this is a free uh, free edition i leave a link in the description below for you guys to download the program and you can follow up with me if you want to okay and if it's your first time here please uh, please consider leaving a like to this video if it's helpful subscribing to my channel for more awesome videos like this one I'm going to change the background out to a darker color because I'm using, I'm not, I'm not gonna put some uh, a drawing on my character at this moment. I created this character in Blender. If you want to see that video, it's also in my channel, okay? We can play around with the character, we can play around in the hierarchy with the properties, the color and all of that. There's some mist you guys can use, some water and wind, also a real, a real shadow, real time shadowing. My name is 3D Mesh Tutorials, I'm in Copper Cube and I'm showing you how to import a character perfectly with multiple animations, okay? Don't skip this video guys, I'm also gonna show you how to rename your animations so you don't get confused when adding them to your character. Alright? Everything seems good. I'm so used to making game, uh, gameplay videos guys, so I decided just to go uh, in a different direction. Since I'm creating games, I'm a game developer, I'm gonna show you guys how I go about creating games, my animations, my characters, creating characters from scratch in Blender, and there's, there's more applications I use. Okay, so yeah, I'm also going to introduce 3D Ray to you guys. This is all uh, no coding game engines, it's a bit old but you can still use it, okay? Let me just get the cube out of the way so you can see the character, there you go. Okay, we're gonna go to the hierarchy, to the properties, and we're gonna look for the animation, animation slots. Okay, let me show you how dynamic works with the light. I'm gonna add a light source there, you see? see there at the bottom you got a, a lot of icons there you can find some cubes, spheres, you get your cameras, all your lights, your light sources, water even in particles alright. So most of the game developers they use the dynamic light so that you can um, pick up some shadowing you know on the character or on your building textures it can even help uh, boost up your your, your normal mapping on your on your textures that can stand out more when using dynamic light. Ok, 
okay, you can just position the light where, where you like it with, for your liking. Okay, depending on the uh, uh, the theme you're working on, the type of game you're creating. Okay, I, I don't, I, I'm really satisfied with this character and his animations. I think I'm gonna create a game with this character here in Copper Cube. Since Copper Cube is such a great engine, it's a very easy to use engine. Doesn't use a lot of coding, don't need to, to use coding at all if you don't want to. Okay, here's all the animations, I'm gonna show you how to uh, rename them. Just take away the front um, armature, the word armature and then you are good to go as you can see there. Just delete, just delete all that armature, the word armature, just delete that. How, this is how you sort out your hierarchy guys the end of the day you have everything sorted okay thank you for watching this video my name is 3d mesh tutorial showing you how to import a character with animations to copper cube 6.5.1 if this video was helpful guys please smack that like button if it's your first time you subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one and i'm out